This is Jason Tice, Tice Industries again. Um, they asked me about who actually is a recipient of these, this particular material on a monster truck. Uh, we have quite a few people. We got um, uh, Grave Digger, quite a few of the Grave Diggers out there uh, running the, run the material. We got uh, Calvin with Time Flies, he's running our material. Of course, Jimmy Creighton is running our material. You got Iron Outlaw out there that's running our material. Uh, you have uh, Scarlet Bandit, you have the Red Baron. You have uh, quite a few other vehicles out there that are running the material that uh, I don't know where Feld's putting them. Uh, we have material on um, El Toro Loco. Um, we also have material on um, many other monster trucks that at this time I, I don't really know what comes in out the door, but nevertheless, um, I would say that we're spreading like wildfire and this is the future. And they, um, If people don't go with this material, they're just simply stuck on stupid because you go ahead and you spend all that time, money, dragging these bodies all across the country with shipping and handling, manufacturing, painting and wrapping. You can simply go like that. Not even a blemish, nothing. Um, if you want to see any of the videos, look for uh, Jimmy Creighton or uh, Grave Digger with uh, Dennis Anderson or anybody else that's driving a digger. Take a look how these bodies hold up now. They're, uh, they might rip them off, but they're not destroyed. Um, Jimmy Creighton's the biggest, uh, <laughs> he, he wrecks more bodies than anybody I know. Um, and uh, this one here, I'm, I'm assuming this one's going to last a full season. For the bang for the buck, um, you know, I don't see why everybody's not doing this. Um, people think money grows on trees. I don't think so. But if you want a body that will go ahead and hold up to the environment that it's designed to manufacture for, non-saturated fiberglass, carbon fiber, even some things with uh, Xylon. They don't hold up. This particular formulation with 3M and me, we got this down to a science. Might not be pretty yet, but it will be soon. And if you uh, want to take the leap, this material here is the newest, most state-of-the-art material in monster truck racing as of this time. And it will take a long time for anybody else to catch up. So with that in mind, um, I would say by the end of next year, this will be seen pretty much in every state in the country, um, and hopefully in the world. Hurrah.